Gota. Definition. Gota is an enlargement of the thyroid gland in the neck. A gota can be caused by a variety of factors and conditions. A condition that increases the size of thyroid is called a gota. A gota may develop in anyone, but is more common in women. Sometimes, it affects the way the thyroid functions. A gota, or gota, is a swelling in the neck resulting from an enlarged thyroid gland. A gota can be associated with a thyroid that is not functioning properly. Incidence Worldwide, over 90% of gota cases are caused by iodine deficiency. The term is from the Latin gutria, meaning throat. Most gotas are of a benign nature. Types Based on toxicity Colum gota, endemic. A colum gota develops from the lack of iodine, a mineral essential to the production of thyroid hormones. People who get this type of gota usually live in areas where iodine is scarce. Non-toxic gota, sporadic. The cause of a non-toxic gota is usually unknown, though it may be caused by medications like lithium. Lithium is used to treat mood disorders such as bipolar disorder. Non-toxic gotas don't affect the production of thyroid hormone, and thyroid function is healthy. They are also benign. Toxic nodular or multinodular gota. This type of gota forms one or more small nodules as it enlarges. The nodules produce their own thyroid hormone, causing hyperthyroidism. It generally forms as an extension of a simple gota. Based on growth pattern. Diffuse smooth gota. This occurs when the entire thyroid swells. The whole thyroid appearing to be enlarged due to hyperplasia. Nodular gota. A lump develops on the thyroid. These are extremely common. Further it can be subdivided into. An nodular gota, one thyroid nodule, can be either inactive, or active, toxic, autonomously producing thyroid hormone. Multinodular gota, multiple nodules, can likewise be inactive or toxic. The latter is called toxic multinodular gota and associated with hyperthyroidism. These nodules grow up at varying rates and secrete thyroid hormone autonomously, thereby suppressing TSH-dependent growth and function in the rest of gland. Inactive nodules in the same gutter can be malignant. Thyroid cancer is identified in 13.7% of the patients operated for multinodular gutter. Retrosternal gutter. This type of gutter can grow behind the breastbone. This can constrict the windpipe, neck veins, or osophagus, and sometimes requires surgery. Based on size. Class I, the gota in normal posture of the head cannot be seen, it is only found by palpation. Class 2, the gota is palpable and can be easily seen. Class 3, the gota is very large and is retrosternal, partially or totally lying below the sternum, pressure results in compression marks. Causes Several things can cause thyroid gland to enlarge. Some of the most common are Iodine deficiency Iodine is essential for the production of thyroid hormones, and is found primarily in seawater and in the soil in coastal areas. In the developing world, people who live inland or at high elevations are often iodine deficient and can develop gutters when the thyroid enlarges in an effort to obtain more iodine. Iodine deficiency may be made worse by a diet high in hormone inhibiting foods, such as cabbage, broccoli and cauliflower. In countries where iodine is routinely added to table salt and other foods, a lack of dietary iodine isn't usually the cause of gutters. Graves disease. A gutter can sometimes occur when thyroid gland produces too much thyroid hormone, hyperthyroidism. In someone who has Graves disease, antibodies produced by the immune system mistakenly attack the thyroid gland, causing it to produce excess thyroxine. This overstimulation causes the thyroid to swell. Hashimoto's disease. A gutter can also result from an underactive thyroid, hypothyroidism. Like Graves' disease, Hashimoto's disease is an autoimmune disorder. But instead of causing thyroid to produce too much hormone, Hashimoto's damages thyroid so that it produces too little. Sensing a low hormone level, pituitary gland produces more TSH to stimulate the thyroid, 
which then causes the gland to enlarge. Multinodular gota. In this condition, several solid or fluid-filled lumps called nodules develop in both sides of thyroid, resulting in overall enlargement of the gland. Solitary thyroid nodules. In this case, a single nodule develops in one part of thyroid gland. Most nodules are non-cancerous, benign, and don't lead to cancer. Thyroid cancer. Thyroid cancer is far less common than benign thyroid nodules. A biopsy of a thyroid nodule is very accurate in determining whether it's cancerous. Pregnancy. A hormone produced during pregnancy, human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, may cause thyroid gland to enlarge slightly. Inflammation. Thyroiditis is an inflammatory condition that can cause pain and swelling in the thyroid. It may also cause the body to produce too much or too little thyroxine. Risk factors. Gotters can affect anyone. They may be present at birth and occur at any time throughout life. Some common risk factors for gotters include a lack of dietary iodine. People living in areas where iodine is in short supply and who don't have access to iodine supplements are at high risk of gotters. Being female. Because women are more prone to thyroid disorders, they are also more likely to develop gotters. Age. Gotters are more common after age 40. Medical history. A personal or family history of autoimmune disease increases risk. Pregnancy and menopause. For reasons that aren't entirely clear, thyroid problems are more likely to occur during pregnancy and menopause. Certain medications. Some medical treatments, including the heart drug amiodrone, Pesroni, others, and the psychiatric drug lithium, Lipcobid, others, increase risk. Radiation exposure. Risk increases if client had radiation treatments to neck or chest area or had been exposed to radiation in a nuclear facility, test or accident. Sign and symptoms. The main symptoms of gota include a swelling in the front of the neck, just below the Adam's apple, a feeling of tightness in the throat area, hoarseness, scratchy voice, neck vein swelling, dizziness when the arms are raised above the head. Other, less common symptoms include Difficulty breathing, shortness of breath, coughing, wheezing, due to squeezing of the windpipe, difficulty swallowing, due to squeezing of the esophagus, or food tube. Some people who have a gota may also have hyperthyroidism, or overactive thyroid. Symptoms of hyperthyroidism can include An increased resting pulse rate Rapid heartbeat, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, sweating without exercise or increased room temperature, shaking, agitation. Some people with gota may also have hypothyroidism or underactive thyroid. Symptoms of hypothyroidism can include fatigue, feeling tired, constipation, dry skin, weight gain, menstrual irregularities. Diagnostic Evaluation Several tests can be used to diagnose and evaluate gota, including the following. History taking, assess the patient for family history of autoimmune diseases, dietary history, and occupational exposure. Physical exam, the doctor may be able to tell if the thyroid gland has grown by feeling the neck area for nodules and signs of tenderness. Hormone test, this blood test measures thyroid hormone levels, which tell if the thyroid is working properly. Antibody test. This blood test looks for certain antibodies that are produced in some forms of gota. An antibody is a protein made by white blood cells. Antibodies help defend against invaders, for example, viruses, that cause disease or infection in the body. Ultrasound of the thyroid. Ultrasound is a procedure that sends high-frequency sound waves through body tissues. The echoes are recorded and transformed into video or photos. Ultrasound of the thyroid reveals the gland's size and finds nodules. Thyroid scan, this imaging test provides information on the size and function of the gland. In this test, 
A small amount of radioactive material is injected into a vein to produce an image of the thyroid on a computer screen. This test is not ordered very often, since it is only useful in certain circumstances. CT scan or MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, of the thyroid, if the gota is very large or spreads into the chest, a CT scan or MRI is used to measure the size and spread of the gota. Management Treatment for gota depends on how large the thyroid has grown, symptoms, and what caused it. Treatments include No treatment, watchful waiting. If the gota is small and is not bothering, the doctor may decide that it doesn't ET need to be treated. However, the gota will be closely watched for any changes. Medications Levothyroxine, Levothroid Registered Trademark Symbol, Synthroid Registered Trademark Symbol, is a thyroid hormone replacement therapy. It is prescribed if the cause of the gota is an underactive thyroid, hypothyroidism. Other medications are prescribed if the cause of the gota is an overactive thyroid, hyperthyroidism. These drugs include methimazole, thapazole registered trademark symbol, and propyl thioquil. The doctor might prescribe aspirin or a corticosteroid medication if gota is caused by inflammation. Radioactive iodine treatment. This treatment, used in cases of an overactive thyroid gland, involves taking radioactive iodine orally. The iodine goes to the thyroid gland and kills thyroid cells, which shrinks the gland. After radioactive iodine treatment, the patient usually has to take thyroid hormone replacement therapy for the rest of his or her life. Biopsy A biopsy is the removal of a sample of tissue or cells to be studied in a laboratory. A biopsy may be needed if there are large nodules in the thyroid gland. A biopsy is taken to rule out cancer. Surgery Surgery is performed to remove all or part of the thyroid gland. Surgery may be needed if the gota is large and causes problems with breathing and swallowing. Surgery is also sometimes used to remove nodules. Surgery must be done if cancer is present. Depending on the amount of thyroid gland removed, the patient may need to take thyroid hormone replacement therapy for the rest of his or her life. Nursing Management Nursing Care Plans and Nursing Diagnosis for Thyroidectomy Acute Pain Risk for impaired airway clearance. Impaired verbal communication. Risk for injury. Deficient knowledge. Complications. Small gutters that don't cause physical or cosmetic problems aren't a concern. But large gutters can make it hard to breathe or swallow and can cause a cough and hoarseness. Gutters that result from other conditions, such as hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism, may be associated with a number of symptoms ranging from fatigue and weight gain to unintended weight loss, irritability and trouble sleeping. So guys, thanks for watching my video. You can like and comment on my video, but don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to watch quality content like this. Thank you guys.